Hey, what's up guys? We have implemented a bunch of new features recently and in this video, I'm going to dive a little deeper into some of the main features such as the volume profile, multi time frame order blocks, break of structure and change of character signals and the liquidity zones. So let's not waste any time and let's jump straight into the volume profile. This is a brand new feature to the Market Dynamics Pro and can be toggled on or off here. This tool helps you find key levels based on volume and money flow metrics as you can see represented in these histogram bars. The bars on the left show the deficit between bullish and bearish volume, which allows you to see if there was more buying or selling at each of these levels. The bars on the right show the amount of money exchanged at each level and also includes a cool feature called the money flow point of control. And this is the level which has seen the most amount of money exchanged. What's interesting about this is that it's actually common to see the money flow point of control different to the volume point of control. So this gives you that crucial extra piece of information to help you find those key levels. The last feature on here is the extend mode and this simply allows you to extend that point of control for a clearer perspective. Now onto the multi time frame order blocks. For those who don't know, order blocks are basically zones or blocks that show a large amount of orders or institutional interest and can be used as support and resistance zones. We have included volume data here so you can see exactly how much lies within these blocks. Typically, these blocks work as magnets in the market so they can be very helpful as guides on where to set your entries and exits when making a trade. You can find this at the top of the market dynamic settings where you have the option to customize the colors or extend the the blocks themselves as well as one of the new features multi time frame this now gives you the option to show order blocks from a different time frame on your current chart the first option here is for the current chart order blocks and the second one for the multi time frame order blocks here you can choose whatever time frame you'd like and in these boxes you can edit the amount of each order blocks you would like to see next up is the break of structure and change of character signals these do an amazing job at locating market reversals or continuations for a continuation of a trend, you would be watching for a break of structure and for reversals, this would be a change of character. You can toggle this on here and these bad boys now have included extra volume data. It tracks the bullish and bearish volume from the start of the signal to the break point and presents a label based off this data, providing you with one of three colors, green for bullish volume, yellow for neutral volume and red for bearish volume. If the label confirms the signal, that gives you the extra confluence needed and is a game changer when it comes to market structure changes. Finally, we have liquidity zones. Now these are great for finding those levels in the market with high liquidity and can be used as classic support and resistance. So if you see price approaching one of these levels, that could be a good indication that it's time to exit or get ready to enter your trade. These are ranked so you can identify which levels are the strongest and how much liquidity lies within them. This can be toggled on or off here above the volume profile settings. And that's going to be all for today, guys. Make sure you take advantage of all of these awesome new features and as always, thanks for watching and stay primed.